Hey guys, welcome to the wrap up show of Baja Today. Today's show will feature the suspension and traction course, an interview with the all ladies team from India, and also highlights from the race that was moved to today due to severe weather here in Cookville. I'm Cheyenne Sigmund and Baja Today starts now. Cummins is engaged with SAE on a number of fronts, so there's some of the traditional pieces that SAE does where they have standards and technical committees that get together with industry members, and we have a big role to play there. Uh, there's also conferences that they hold that we go to and help plan. Uh, my, personally, there's a ComVet conference, which is, which is focused on commercial vehicles, that I'm part of the organizing committee for, mm -hmm. for that. Um, but then there's also the collegiate design series, which Baja is part of. So we sponsor, um, at the program level, the opportunity to be part of both Baja and Formula and the clean snowmobile competitions that SAE does with, with the different universities. Baja is a great place for us to get to meet students that are in the university potentially looking for internships and potentially looking for full-time employment. And, and for us, this is a great way for us to get to meet them Get others some names. We have to be careful because they're pretty busy with the competition, but at the same time, we really want to engage with them and see what they're up to. And, and it's a great way for us to pick out some students that really, really are shine and have good, great knowledge, great innovation, and, and can can be a good potential employee for coming someday too. Baja, as an example, is great because it shows us those engineers in school that have a passion for really getting involved with machines and and. and and hands-on opportunities. So this is unique in that regard. It gives us a little bit of a taste of, and, and a, an opportunity to see who's, who's got that interest and that passion. So this event's called Suspension and Traction. So here we're trying to test like, um, you know, how well the car goes over bumps, jumps, off cambers, logs, that kind of thing. Basically trying to test and see how much power they can put to the ground and what they can do in some kind of crazy situations. I uh, was actually a Baja alumni at Tech from uh, 2007 to 2011. I was on the last team that won a race uh, back in 2011. It's a cool, cool thing to be a part of. And um, I got involved in this in 2013 when we hosted the race out here. And uh, I've been doing suspension and traction at every event that we've had. And uh, it's just kind of a cool thing. I like uh, moving the dirt and finding new things for the cars to do. And it's really just a, a cool event to test the cars. So. Well, uh, some of the secrets to this year's course is that, you know, we've got some option routes. Uh, in the morning, you saw a lot of people coming straight down these steps, and uh, they were flipping over and having a really hard time with the logs here behind me. Uh, but in the afternoon here, they've taken the option route that I created uh, in order to uh, kind of take a little shortcut and head straight up the hill and maybe have a little easier time. So uh, down the rest of the course, there's a few more Easter eggs like that, uh, some uh, easier and harder paths throughout the course, uh, and just try to catch the students off guard with some of the stuff I throw at them. So good to be here. It's 12 of us and the weather keeps surprising us. It's really, it's, we've, we've learned a lot and um, it's, it, it feels just great to be here. And the 100 teams and everybody else, it's, it's a good people, good food and it's a good place. It's a really beautiful place. It's like people come and uh, sh uh, shake your hand and they're like, oh, you're an all-girls team. It's, it surprises them, but it's nothing new to us. We just keep working. We, we work hard. We know what we are doing. And it doesn't affect us much. It's like, it's, it's normal to us. We started participating in Baha seven years back. And this is the first time here, first time international. And we're doing a great job till now. So, uh, yeah, we're pretty... Uh, we're all pumped up and we're getting up for endurance right now. So let's see. Let's let's just hope everything turns out well. Like all of the girls are like really hard working and everybody's into it now. So let's hope I don't know. Good luck to us. <laughs> History as far back as I've heard is we hosted the event out at our uh, Tanaha Hills uh, proving testing facility out in Tucson, Arizona. Uh, about 14, 15 years ago, and we might have gone further back than that, but that's kind of the beginning as far as I know. And then we've hosted at our um, Edwards customer facing demonstration facility in Peoria every three years since then, and that was how I got involved three years ago. Uh, and it's really awesome to be hosted out there. Uh, and then we kind of try to have a recruiting presence at at least one event every year. I think the thing that separates Baja from the typical career fair and everything is these kids really have proven that they can conceptualize, design, test, 
take it to all the way through production mm -hmm. and we kind of really value that entire experience whereas you know not to you know downtrod on the people at the career fair but it just is a step above here i think as far as what we see in the candidates yeah. All right, so that's it for Baja Today 2019. I'm Cheyenne Sigmund, and thank you guys for watching.